So in this video, what I'm gonna do, this will be part two. Um, the first video I showed you how to install the tow hitch. This is to use the Kurt wiring system uh, for the Ford Bronco. I have the LED lights on mine. So I'm gonna show you how to wire this in, uh, how to run the power to the battery with the fuse. Uh, and then I will show you how to connect these adapters to the back tail lights. One of the first things I'm gonna do to avoid the heat a little bit more than anything, um, is I wanna go ahead and strip off just a little bit on the end of the black wire. Now this is gonna to connect to the battery. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I wanna go ahead and connect this to the inline fuse using the butt connector here. So we're gonna put this here, this here, connect those two. And then on this end, what I wanna do is take this little ring we're gonna trim this off. I think this is already pre-cut. Yep, and then we're gonna go ahead and put this one on here. And this is what's gonna to connect to the battery. Then we're gonna run this underneath the car, probably wire it through the framing and then back to the actual hitch itself. Totally optional, but I did take a little bit of the heat shrink tubing, um, kind of put that over this, and then I'll use a heat gun just to give it a little bit more protection. Next, I'm gonna take a butt connector. I wanna connect it to this black wire attached to the box. Um, this is going to wire to this black wire. After we get done running this along the length of the car to the rear of the car, we're gonna connect it using this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this one on and then we're gonna connect at the end the wire. So go ahead and disconnect the negative terminal on your battery. Um, that'll prevent anything from shorting when you're doing the wiring. We're going to remove this panel to get access to the light wiring. Um, there are four screws. So you're just going to use a Phillips head here, here, right here, and this one. And then you've got two, see those in there, 10 millimeter bolts that we're gonna remove. And then we're just gonna pull that piece out. If you have a problem getting these out, for instance, mine, when I go to turn them, they don't unscrew. Just take a little pry tool or something. You should be able to fit that underneath. And then they'll back out. All right, now we've got those screws out. You're just gonna simply pull this piece out, just like so. And that will now give you access to back here by, behind the tail lights. So reach around back behind the light. We wanna press in this tab, and then we're gonna lift this piece up and out. Then we're gonna come around to this side, and we're gonna do the same thing, pressing this tab in and lifting this piece up. Now we wanna go ahead and take on the driver's side. We're gonna take the one that's got the wire for grounding. Um, the one with the green is gonna run over to the passenger side. And what I wanna do is I wanna feed this up through here, underneath the bumper, come up, and I wanna bring it out up through here. So I'm just gonna pull this up. I'm gonna connect this one. Snap that into place. Then we can take this other side and we're gonna connect it to the harness on the car. And we'll be good to go. Now, the other thing we're gonna to have to do is use the self-tapping screw. I'm gonna take a little bit of sandpaper or a Dremel and I'm gonna polish a spot off right here. Um, I'll show you what that looks like so that I can then connect the ground to the vehicle. I'm just taking a Dremel and I'm just gonna clear off a little section right here. So now I've cleared off the paint. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the self-tapping screw. There we go. And then what I can do with this is back that out and I'm gonna put that on there.
All right, on the driver's side, we've got everything coming down below. What I wanna do is I wanna take the green wire and this connector, and I'm gonna try to feed it along here, um, trying to tuck it up and out of the way to keep it out of the elements. And then I'm gonna feed it back up through here so that we can connect, connect to the uh, passenger tail light. So I'm gonna bring this green wire and connect this to here. Now I'm gonna connect this one. So now you can go ahead and put these trim pieces back into place. So for the cable, I just ran it down straight through here. You can see popped out right here, zip tied onto this. And what I'm gonna do is run it along the frame up here, up and over the top. And I'm gonna run that all the way down up above there. So this is the driver's side rear wheel. I just kind of came up and over this frame, uh, zip tied up here, and then ran it back through back here and then it drops down. So we're gonna connect that here to the power. Um, on this side, I'm running the green wire up and across over here. I'm gonna tuck that in and zip tie and keep it out of the way. You don't want it too close to the muffler from the heat. Um, so I'm gonna tuck that back. So now what we're gonna do is take the wire that we just ran from the battery and we're gonna connect it to this butt connector that connects to this little box. All right, so for securing this black box, um, I was able to just find a spot right here. So it's everything's tucked in back behind here. You can use double-sided tape. Um, I've got some really sticky Velcro, so I'm gonna just kind of Velcro that into place, and then I'm gonna run and tuck these wires back here, and then we're gonna connect it over here to the hitch. I just realized there is some double-sided tape um, in the pack so that you can use that to adhere the little box underneath here. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the positive. I'm gonna connect it to one of the terminals on the battery. I'm gonna use a washer. I'm gonna use a little lock washer that I have. And then I think this was an M6 bolt. Um, and now I'm just gonna tighten those down onto the battery. Then you can add the fuse that came supplied. You're gonna put that uh, fuse in here and then the last thing you'll want to do is connect the battery and you should be good to go Last piece of the puzzle. I bought this adapter on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description uh, What this is going to do is snap right into this little bracket and now I'm just going to wire up the wires um, using the butt connectors and then this is just going to snap right into place All right, so I connected those with the butt connectors, then put some of the heat shrink tubing on it. Now we can just tuck those back behind here, make sure we got the right orientation so that this opens up. And then this is going to go in and snap up into place. And I'll tuck these wires out of the way and we're good to go.